everyone welcome to maths with Hira in today's video we would be working on one of an IBA maths AASL question that has already be uh, came in the exams uh, so this is a very important question of trigonometry where you would have to find out uh, the radius of the circle, you have to find out the coordinates of the center of the circle and you have to find out the volume of the cone. So let's look at the question and let's try to see how we are going to solve this one up. All right, so the question says consider a circle with a diameter AB where A has coordinates 1, 4, 0 and B has coordinates minus 3, 2 and minus 4. The circle forms the base of a right cone whose vertex V has a coordinate of minus 1, minus 1, 0. So if you see, this is the point they are talking about. This is a vertex. And uh, if you would see, it's uh, located at minus 1, minus 1, and 0. And this is the line AB. So the coordinates of point A are 1, 4, and 0. Let's put down the coordinates here. So this is 1, 4, and 0. This is the B coordinates are minus 3, 2, and minus 4. Now, what we have to do, we have to find out the uh, coordinates of the center of the circle. This point we need to look at. So uh, let's put down the coordinates of V as well. They have already mentioned that. This is V. So the coordinates of V are minus 1, minus 1, and 0. So how would we find out the coordinates of the center of the circle? Let's have a look. Let's write down the coordinates of A, which are 1, 4, 0 coordinates of B minus 3 2 minus 4 now we need to find out the midpoints of AB this is the midpoint so we would use the midpoint formula we can say Put it down here. Midpoint AB. If you remember the midpoint formula, which is There are three coordinates, so we would use all three of them. It's the midpoint formula is x1 plus x2 divided by 2. And the next one is y1 plus y2 divided by 2 and then we have y uh, z3 z1 plus z2 divided by 2 so this question is about a 3d plane that's why we have three coordinates right this is x this is y, this is z, this is x1, y1, 
z1. This is x1, x2, y2, and z2. Now let's put down the values in the uh, formula to find out the midpoint. So x1 is 1 x2 is minus 3 so we will put minus 3 here divided by 2 y1 is 4 y2 is 2 divided by 2 z1 is 0 z2 is minus 4 and we would divide it by 2 1 minus 3 is what minus 2 so it will be minus 2 out of 2. It will be what? 6 out of 2. And it is minus 4 divided by 2. Now we can also simplify it. Right? So minus 2 when you would divide it with 2 it would become minus 1 6 divided by 2 is 3 minus 4 divided by 2 is minus 2 so this is the answer for part a number 1 minus 1 3 minus 2 so just by putting down these Solving this question, you secured two marks. Now, let's continue to the next part, which is find the radius of the circle. So, we would use this formula because it's the radius. So, you see the radius is a distance from the center to the outer side. So, either you can use from A, let's say this is zero the center so from a to o is also the radius or o to b is also the radius it depends on us which coordinates you want to use so you will use the distance formula for this what is the distance formula x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 square plus z2 minus z1 square and a square root of all of them now as we talked before we can either use uh the a coordinate or we can use the b coordinate and find out the difference between both of them so let's go for a uh, difference from uh, uh what you say a and zero so if you remember a is one four and zero so uh what would we do we would subtract so x2 is what minus 1 this is our x1 x2 and x3 now x1 y x x2 y2 x1 uh x2 and uh x i'm sorry about that x1 y1 and z1 and this is our x2 y2 and z2 all right going from the center towards the outer side so x1 is x2 is uh, minus 1 minus 1 square plus y2 is 3 minus 4 square z2 is minus 2 All right. Now minus one and minus 
1 would be minus 2 square plus minus 1 square plus minus 2 square. And they all have a square root on top of it. Now, when you take a square of minus 2, it would become 4, it would become 1, and it would become 4. And when you add them up, it would be root 9, and when you take a square of 9, it turns to 3. So this is the answer of question number one, question number A, part two. The answer is three. Next question is we need to find out the exact volume of the cone. Let's continue with that. In this question, now we have to work with the V formula the v coordinate minus one minus one zero they gave us the vertex coordinates in the question so the only thing that we are missing is the height of the cone so we would use the height formula so again it's the distance from the center to the outer side if you remember so we have the coordinates for the center already now all we got to do is put it down in the formula. So minus 1, again the distance formula we would use. Minus 1 minus 3 whole square. Plus 0 minus into minus 2 whole square. So it would become what? Minus 1 plus 1, so that is 0. Minus 4 square would be plus 16. Plus 4. So that is root 20. And if you know, we can also write it down as 4 times 5 is 20. 4 can be taken out. And we will be left with 2 square root of 5. And this is the final answer of part B, which is 2 square root of 5. It's not final answer. This is actually the area we have, uh, the height we have found out. Now, from the height, you know, the original question is we have to find out the volume. We found out the height. Now we will use the volume formula to find out the volume. So, volume formula is what? V equals to 1 out of 3 pi r squared. H. If you remember in the previous question, we find out the radius of the circle. So the radius that we found out was 3. Now if you put 3 here and we take a square and we multiply it with 2 square root of 5. 
so we end up with 6 root 5 pi which is approximately equal to 42.15 and that is the final answer 42.15well, I hope you understood the question and uh, you'd be able to solve it if this kind of question comes in your exam. This is something, an important question because uh, in this question you are using uh, a lot of uh, shapes. We are finding out the different formulas. We are using the midpoint formula. We are using the distance formula. Then we are using the uh, volume formula. In case of any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.